<laughs> Alright. So, it's pretty much been confirmed February 24th. Not only is The Undertaker going to return in Chicago, but Hulk Hogan will as well. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, motherfuckers, one of my favorites of all time. Went to TNA, they made him look like a fucking retard. You know, and people will say that I'm hypocritical about this. You know, the same thing when RVD returned to the WWE. People were, you know, raging at me saying that I'm a hypocrite because I dissed RVD in every Impact review. And then when he came to WWE, I praised the fuck out of him. You know, that's just how it is. That's how it is. WWE knows how to present the stars better, even in this PG era of just complete shit. WWE still got the better production, the better uh, ways of promoting people, and just this is home for Hogan. Now this might not be the WWE we saw in the 80s or the 90s or even the 2000s, you know, the early 2000s, but still, it's still the WWE. There's history there. TNA is just a piece of shit company. It might have uh, now it's been around for 12 years, but still, there's no history around it, and it just sucks. <laughs> and they don't know how to present Hogan. They don't know how to put him out there. They don't know, you know, who to have him interact with. WWE, at least you know it's going to be halfway decent because Hogan's got the charisma. One of the most charismatic guys of all time. But him being back, you know, that brings a little bit of prestige to the shit. You know, so it kind of suppresses the shit a little bit. It's kind of like a toilet that's, you know, backed up, you know. All the shit's pouring out. All of a sudden, Hulk Hogan comes, sits on that toilet, and, you know, it's still coming out a little bit. But, you know, it's kind of staying down a little bit. And you're mostly seeing Hogan. <laughs> so, you know... There you go. Might be a little bit of a disgusting metaphor there, but uh, that's how I feel about it. Yeah, so uh, now you might be saying, Brad, don't you always talk about, you know, how these guys that have been around for a while, like Cena, they're holding people back, they're keeping them down. Yeah, but this is Hulk Hogan. This is the guy that Cena tries to be like. And I would love to see a match. You know, I don't know how good it would be, but, you know, especially o Hogan and his knees, he doesn't even really have knees anymore. I don't even know what they're made out of. They, I don't know, they kind of patched them back together, or, you know, with paper clips and chewing gum. Those fucking knees, those knees are worse than Rey Mysterio's. I've never seen a guy with worse knees, but imagine Cena versus Hogan. This is a match we've been wanting to see for a while. Hogan, you know, just fucking crush him with the leg drop in a match, you know, how great would that be to finally see, like, Hogan, the guy that Cena wants to be like, because really, in essence, Cena and Hogan are the same. Whoa! Now, I know, you know, this is a very scary thought, but let's think about this here for a minute. So, you know, like, Hogan ain't a great wrestler, but he's an entertainer. You know, it, and that's the same thing with uh, with John Cena. Not a great wrestler. Well, he's a great entertainer, you know. Got to put the quotes out there for you, you know. But, you know, that's the thing that WWE tries to get away with. They acknowledge that, you know, Cena might not be the best wrestler. You know, they acknowledge his five uh, moves of doom. Cena has mentioned this in promos when he's mocking the crowd. You know, and, and they realize that about him. But, you know, they try to present them as, you know, he's still a company face. He's entertaining. He's good on the mic, supposedly. And that's the same thing with Hogan. You know, that was the reason why they gave it, you know, to him. Because Hogan's a big guy. Cena's a big guy. You know, really muscular. He's got the physique that, you know, a champion looks like. Now, you know, still Hogan has a better face. Cena still has this plain ass looking face that really doesn't look like a champion material when you say the face of the company it's not really a face you know the company it's very very boring at least hogan's got the signature mustache and everything in the hair and the bandana at least he's got a better look than cena but really when you come right down to it look at the matches look at the matches that we have here you got 
Hogan, you know, who gets beat up for the whole match, then, you know, has like a rallying. He's got, you know, he does a bunch of punches, whips him into the ropes for a big boot, and then hits a leg drop. You know, he, he had done this for fucking years. And look at Cena. You know, um, he, he does the, the same fucking thing every match. You know, it, it, it's always that that uh, that that fucked up looking power bomb, that um, the the five knuckle shuffle, and then an FU attitude adjustment, whatever. You know, maybe I should update for 2014 and finally call it a move by its current name. But anyway. Um, you know, it, it, so you see these guys got the same type of styles, the same type of deals. They don't really know how to wrestle a technical match. But somehow, you know, these guys have found their way to the top. The only difference is Hogan is awesome in promos. Hogan is a legend, you know, when it comes to promos and entertainment. The guy is larger than life. He has a voice that's very memorable. You don't even need to be looking at him to remember his voice. Seeing it, you hear this voice and you don't even remember it. It's so plain sounding. You know, Hogan is anything but plain. So, you know, as much as they try to sell Cena to us over the years as like a new Hogan, a Hogan for the new generation, then they very well did try to sell this idea. I remember reading in, in WWE Magazine and WWE.com, like when he first won the belt, they were saying he was a mix of Stone Cold and Hogan and even... You know, he, some people even said that he was the rock of this generation. And that's what led to the match that they had at WrestleMania. You know, but here's the thing. He ain't like any of those guys. He ain't like none of them. You know? Uh, now, of course, the rock in his prime, I'm talking about, because when he returned, he absolutely fucking sucked. But, uh, yeah, you know, he ain't nothing like Stone Cold. Not even 1% like Stone Cold. And like Hogan, not not even uh, even a bit like Hogan, not even a fucking shred like Hogan. Hogan, you know, you're talking about, you know, apples and infected oranges. And, you know, Hogan is the, the apple, you know, shiny, new, freshly picked. And, you know, just the, it's good. And, and the, the orange is just, it's rotten. It's, you know, it's too citrusy it's burning my fucking throat because it's being shoved down my throat motherfuckers yeah so this whole fucking shit i would love to see that match but of course cena would go over hogan they would be passing the torch and you know that's the thing if this match does end up taking place you know that they would have like hogan would be like right i'm passing the torch even though it should be to a younger superstar you know, a younger wrestler, but they would still do that. You just know it with, with Cena. He's still there, still at the top. Um, and I hope the fuck they don't do the shit they did with Ric Flair. When they brought in Ric Flair, all he was doing was praising Cena. If Hogan comes in and he praises Cena, that would be pretty fucking shitty. But nonetheless, none the fucking less, I am still looking forward to seeing Hogan come back. You know, just... Anything involving Hogan would be awesome. Just getting to see him after so much fucking shit with this company and being so dissatisfied with it. Hogan coming back would be, you know, awesome. And he is going to come back. Not if he comes back. The 24th, he is confirmed. Along with Taker. And that is an episode of Raw I am looking forward to immensely. Immensely. That is uh, the night after the chamber, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, hopefully good things happen at the chamber. Maybe, you know, um, something weird will happen and Brian will win the title. Um, but anyway, if he doesn't, at least we'll have Hogan to look forward to. Hulk Hogan, you know, is just it's a staple. This is like his company. He is responsible for putting this company on the map. Without him, we wouldn't have a Stone Cold because he's the one that made this company survive up to the point of the Attitude Era. So, there you go right there. Hogan's coming back, motherfuckers. And, you know, 
It might not be for long. It might not even be for a match, but it's Hogan, and Hogan is Hogan. I hate his ass in TNA, but a WWE version of Hogan is something I'm going to look forward to.